Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS X510Q model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can speed up the process, the speed up the laptop humongously. This laptop do carry a mechanical hard drive, so these are really slow hard drive for this processor. So we're gonna remove it and we're gonna add a solid state drive. There's another method of putting a different solid state drives. I'm gonna go over what combination you could have, what are the best combination and which one you should do and what are the difference. Anyway, to do this process, you wanna back up your file because once we remove the hard drive, you replace the hard drive, you're not gonna have any operating system or your old files. So back them up to the external hard drive or to a cloud somewhere. And once you put the new drive in, I made a video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. It's the same thing for Windows 11. Those links are in my video description. And I also made a video how to install Windows from your USB drive on your ASUS laptop. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna actually put the Windows USB and boot it up, take you to the initial start of the Windows installation. All right, so first thing first, power off, back up your files. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Is a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the Pro set, they will give you some opening tool, tweezers. If not, get the simple set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Next, you need first your hard drives. I have my SSD hard drive. The best brands are the Samsung Evo brands. But this client brought me the, its own SSD hard drive, which are this gigabyte. But I do not recommend these ones, but there is still good hard drives but the best ones are the Samsung ones. All right, or you can upgrade the mechanical drive up to two, uh, four terabyte. Anyway, so at the bottom of the laptop, we're gonna remove a whole bunch of screws. There's a hidden screws too, and there are four size screws. So we're gonna remove the bottom leggings here, put an opening tool on the bottom cover here, remove the bottom legs that has a little adhesive. Remove one on each side, on the back side only. These are two black screws under one, under each, one black screw, so remove them. These are the only colored black screw right there. Then there is a one long screw which is as far mid back. So remove this one, keep them in a different pile. Then there's a two short screws right in here. There's a corner, front corners. The one in here is broken, so I can just rotate, it will not come out. So yeah, but this one it does come out because the client dropped the laptop, it broke the base. So remove the two short screws. Now the rest of the screws are the medium sized screws so you can start from one corner and just remove them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my video and you wanna support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. It greatly helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I will appreciate that. All right, now that we remove the screws on the bottom, all you need to do is to grab your guitar pick or your opening tool. You wanna to stick it between the bottom cover and the case right there, and you wanna just twist it. You wanna go ahead and twist it like this. And you wanna work yourself on the back grill right there, put it all the way back, and then just twist it until it just loosen up. You wanna hear big clicks, that's what you wanna hear. You wanna work yourself all around towards the front end, sides. Once you remove, back front and the sides you want to grab the bottom cover and lift it up and wiggle it around so down here we're going to see the mechanical hard drive right here and this laptop does have uh, it can take an m.2 ssd hard drive in here it tells you which type of the ssd it takes it takes the one with the m and b key hard drive it doesn't take the m key alone so you have to get the m plus m and b key ssd they look something like this so you can grab these hard drives and put it right through here and put a tiny screw. I'll leave the link for the screw. You can have, so pretty much you just slide it right inside the jack and screw it right in here. And then you can have a two terabyte mechanical drive in here. So you have your windows in here, your mechanical drive right in here. But if not, you can only have the, pretty much this one and this one's at the same speed. It's not an NVMe. So what you can do in here to remove this mechanical drive, remove the two screws at the back. These are the short screws. 
and two screws in the front that touching the caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So these are the long screws. Now you want to move the hard drive back for a little bit. Once it gets released here, lift it up. Now we need this metal bracket. There's a two screws on each side holding it together. We want to make sure we know the orientation for the SATA and power. It has to be in the same orientation. So you don't want to put this hard drive in inside the caddy flipped upside down because otherwise you're going to invert the connectors. Also to do this, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. So we're going to remove the screws from this side. So we're going to lift up the hard drive from here, put it to one side, grab the new SSD drive, put it right in here, and put the four screws that we removed from the side. Once it's very light and easy, so you want to put it down in an offset position right in here, and then you want to slide it towards the jack. And once it goes right in through that, you're doing well. Then grab the longest screws, put it in the front end of the caddy, and the shortest screws goes at the back end of the caddy. Now you can actually you can have an SSD here, another SSD over here. You can have two SSDs if you wish, but I don't see the reason for it. So you rather have can have up to four terabyte SSD, which is perfectly fine. So, but if you want to have a mix, a mechanical drive in here, an SSD in here, you can have it. So that's another option. Once you have this one in here, if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over. You squeeze the corners down, make sure you hear those click sounds, nice and big, on the sides. Now first we're going to put the black screws under the rubber legs. And then I'm going to power on and we're going to choose Windows installation. And put the two short screws in the front end of the laptop, front corners. And the longest screw goes at the back mid. And then medium screw goes all over the place on the bottom casing. So I'm just going to fast forward this part and put the screws back in. Put in the bottom two rubber legs. Let me get the charger for this one. So once we get a charger. Now we're going to get our USB boot drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. You want to plug in the charger. And then you're going to pop in the USB on any of the USB ports in here. For, Win for Asus laptop, sometimes I think it's F12, but sometimes it's disabled. So we're going to power on, tap on F12. Sometimes you're going to see a little lines on here. That's fine. It's just trying to boot to the windows. It happens. You see, it's, I get the windows logo, but I do have this kind of lines in here. Don't worry about these lines. It will go and they will disappear. That's just a UI. So you can see right away here. If there was no operating system inside the hard drive. It booted, it's looked for a different boot drive. So it boot my, through my USB. And it shows me how to install. I just click next, install now. It's going to take me to the process of installation. I made a video how to properly install Windows 10. You can follow that video to know all the steps that you need to take the proper way so you don't get extra bloatware and installed in your laptop. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like and support the channel by subscribing. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.